Let's create an inventory dashboard. I've opened up this uh, ITO exercise cube dairy dashboard uh, and this is the same file that you've used in the, in the past but I don't want all these different sheets. I just want to work with this one. And I'm going to create a dashboard from this one that shows inventory levels at the same time for all these different products in a nice uh, easy visual way. So what I'm going to do is copy this to a new book. So create copy. Now here's a new book that has uh, the same information in it. And what I want to do is check the connections and in this case I want to change it to I think that's a, a B. I'll change that to an A. So this is the most recent uh, setup we have and I enter the password and so now this daily stock is set up for team A and what I want to do is create charts that show the um, the relationship between the main warehouse inventory for each product and the regional uh, so in this case, I'm going to show the three, and I'll use the, the north, so I've selected those two. So this is the basic idea, and what I'm going to do is copy this sheet six times for each of these products, but I have to do it in a certain way or else uh, things won't work quite right. Now what you want to do is set this chart up so that it looks the way you'd like it to look. So I might change the layout to be something like that. And uh, maybe I don't care about the, the legend, so I'll get rid of that. And I don't care about this, that's the, the day. And actually, I don't want to have the sim round and the V day. I'm going to use the inventory date uh, because that's a lot clearer. There's the second round, second day, uh, things like that. And this is the amount. I think I'll get rid of that. But I would like to add a, a uh, title. So I'll just set it there. And this is butter. So this is the chart for butter. And this looks uh, OK. This is how I want all my charts to look, whether it's uh, cheese or cream or ice cream. So I'll have to change the title for each of these. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is create a sheet and call this my inventory dashboard. And I'll take this, I'm going to copy and paste it in there. And maybe I think, well, that's kind of big. I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to put six of these. I'll make it a little bit smaller so I can fit more in there. Something like that. So there's one. Now what I need to do is make a copy of this and then do this for cheese, cream, ice cream, milk, and yogurt. That's the idea. Now to do that six times I could do it, but I think I'll record a macro. So the macro I'm going to record is going to be called copy, and I'll do mover copy, copy to the end, I'll stop recording, now I've made this copy, there's the original, there's the copy, and this is going to be called cheese. So I could, I could name this the cheese. But I'm going to um, end up hiding all these. So I'm going to copy and uh, paste that. Maybe there. Seems reasonable. And now I think I'll make another copy. So where's my macros, macro, run, and this one will be cream, I'll call that cream, and I'll 
copy, paste that into my dashboard. Next one I think I'll put down there. Uh, I'll come over here and my macro. I can assign a button to that. This will be ice cream. I think I did that right on the other one. Now copy, paste that there. Over here, macro run. So now I've got another one. This will be milk. Copy. Paste. That's yeah, close enough. It's pretty close. I've really got them packed in there. Um, do this one more time. And this is yogurt. Yogurt. I'm not sure I spelled that right. Copy. So here's my dashboard. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And this has uh, all the all the regions or uh, all the products in the north region. And what I could do is take this and copy and I'll paste it there and then if I right click on this and choose report connections I can say I'd like that slicer to affect all those so if I do that that's the south hold down the control key there's uh, the main region the main warehouse in the south region well, there's the main and the south and the west. And so we So here we see how to use a dashboard, how to combine different elements on, into one uh, uh, sheet, which is called the dashboard. I could then uh, select all these, and if I right-click, I can hide them uh, because I don't want to see them and, and get confused anymore, I can always unhide them. And then here's my dashboard. So a regional manager can look at this and watch it change over time and, and get a sense of what's going on. And what I recommend is that you determine your min and max levels uh, for different inventories. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, insert It's a shape. So there's a shape, it's a box, and I might say for cheese in the south, maintain the inventory in these, between these levels. So if I ever see it uh, above or below those levels, uh, that's not good. So I don't, I don't want an outline on this, and if I right click I can format the shape and I can fill it so that it's, uh, I'm adjusting the transparency. I think that went off the screen. I'm adjusting the transparency. And so if I see this getting uh, too high or too low, then uh, I need to contact somebody and say, this is not right. You know, we, need to, we need to change. And you can see how uh, the, the main warehouse had lots of cheese and then it shipped it out to the various regions and then it, here's the demand per day so not much demand per day for cheese and here's demand per day for butter yeah a lot more for butter and that's very useful in determining how often to ship and how much to ship